it's just beautiful for me that they take time, they donate their time and come out to support all the things that I'm doing, the charities that I'm uh, supporting. So it's beautiful when you get athletes of that stature to actually donate their time and come out. And they're having a great time. You know, they're getting the chance to mingle with one another. They haven't seen one another in a while. So it's a real friendly atmosphere. And they're really unbelievable socially with people. So they're mingling. Everybody's having a great time. It's, I couldn't ask for anything more. Now, of course, everyone's having fun, but they're also giving back at the same time to entertainment and arts. What is it like for that aspect to be included in this event and knowing that you're doing some good for the community? Well, you know, that's how this all started. It started, you know, my brother Clay was a great jazz singer in Providence, and he passed. And I wanted to keep his legacy going. And his, his dream was to uh, give out music scholarships. So we started in the first year. It was uh, mainly for the Clay Osborne Foundation. And I said, well, what can I do? Uh, well, we put a golf tournament together. And we raised a bunch of money and kind of helped build his foundation. So now he's rolling. He's able to give away music scholarships. And then we kind of took it over from there in about the third year. So, you know, it's beautiful. I mean, we're affiliated with the Rhode Island Philharmonic Orchestra. And together we put music back in public school systems. And that's, you know, been a passion of mine also. And then we're working with community based people like uh, Amos House, which is one of those organizations that take people off the streets, they feed them, they find them shelters, they find them jobs, and that's just a warm, hot felt kind of a community organization. So we give money to them, we give money to the Met School, and that's a school that's an alternative uh, high school, alternative learning high school, so the kids can go there and whatever they feel like they want to be in life, they can take classes that will better them for that. So, you know, and then we have the Boys and Girls Club, and everybody loves the Boys and Girls Club. We all went through the Boys and Girls Club, you know, I loved it when I was growing up, so it's nice to be able to give back to the Boys and Girls Club. We have an organization called St. Mary's Home for Children, and they they take in abused children. So it's one of those organizations when you go in there and you see it, you just break down and cry, you know. And uh, so we really wanted to bring them in and try to help them out. And then we have an organization called Buttonhole. Buttonhole is a nine hole golf course, only nine hole golf course in Rhode Island, in Providence. And they go to the schools during recess and teach the kids about golf. They teach them that it's more than just a game. That is a great socializing sport where you can work and network. And then they, they give them golf lessons. So we figure since it's a golf tournament, we may as well contribute to the young golfers coming up. So they're a very important part of, of our uh, charity also. Because this is the first time we've done it in Connecticut, uh, we've taken on the Boys and Girls Club in Hartford, Connecticut. So we're going to donate money to the Boys and Girls Club in Hartford, Connecticut also. And as we roll, being that it's the first year, we kind of got this underway late. Uh, next year for the next tournament, I'm going to come back. I'm going to go into communities of Connecticut, and I'm going to see where I can help a little bit more. So, you know, I want to include Connecticut also, but uh, we're trying to make this thing grow and grow and grow, and it feels good. I mean, the support I'm getting from these athletes and entertainers is amazing. Now, you mentioned golf was one of the things you're helping out. Of course, that's one of many events this weekend. You had softball, you had a comedy show, you have quite the array of things. For you, is there a personal highlight? I think the personal highlight is the welcome reception for me because the welcome reception is, was last night. That's when all the athletes come together and they meet all the sponsors that are making this thing happen because it's a sponsor-driven event. So for the sponsors, it's beautiful for them to come in, for them to mingle and talk and, you know, hang out with the athletes and the entertainers and the singers. And then we put on a show. I mean, we call all of, everybody up, bring all the all these people up on stage, and then myself and Smokey Robinson and Johnny Gill and Eddie LeVert from the OJs and John B. We just jam. So it's, and we're having more fun than they are because I got all of these athletes behind me and we're singing and they're dancing and grooving and that's the most fun. But the comedy show was hilarious. I mean, Chris Tucker, Cedric the Entertainer, and J.B. Smooth. And J.B. was our special guest. Uh, we didn't even we didn't advertise him because we couldn't because he's playing in the area in a couple of weeks so they wouldn't let us advertise him so we just said it was going to be Cedric, uh, Chris Tucker and friends and he was our special guest that came out and he was amazing so it was a fun evening unbelievable softball was great too softball is the one thing that the community can get involved in it's a cheap affordable ten dollar ticket so we want to do something that the community can come out and see these celebrities. It's hard for them to get into the golf tournament because it's more of a sponsor-driven thing and it's not as affordable. So we try to do a couple of things that the community can, you know, come in, see the celebrities, be a part of, and have fun. 
Well, you mentioned that not everyone got to see the celebs out there. Is there any person with a hidden talent that we should know about, whether it's Dr. J uh, getting holes in one or <laughs> Cedric the Entertainer crushing home runs? Well, you know what? They're kind of celebrities. Celebrities playing golf are like regular people playing golf. They're, now, the athletes seem to be a lot better. So Dr. J's pretty good. He's he's a real good athlete. We have Ozzie Smith this year. So you got Ozzie Smith, who's a baseball player. Baseball players really crush the golf ball. So Ozzie's a great player. Eddie Murray was here. He's another Hall of Fame baseball player. So I'm sure I haven't seen the scores yet, but I'm sure he played well. But yeah, um, you know me, I'm like a 10 handicap. That's that. That's average, you know. Uh, but you know, some of these guys are four and five handicaps. And, but I do. I must say that the people here at Foxwoods Resort and Casinos, they have been unbelievable. They have been over backwards, and they're making this, you know, something special for me. So I'm, I'm really happy to be here.